In this video, we're going to take a look at order of operations. So let's say we have this expression 7 plus 4 times 3. Well, in math, we always want to all arrive at the same answer, right? We need this to have one answer. So you might think, well, 7 plus 4 is 11, and then we multiply 3 and we get 33. However, if you're familiar with order of operations, you know that that is incorrect because you need to multiply before you add. And that's just a convention that we've all agreed on so that we all get to the same answer in, in math. In other words, the order of operations ensures that we all arrive at the same destination by ordering us what to do next. So coming up, we're going to look at some examples in which we follow orders and arrive at the right answer. Our order of operations tells us first we have to do all the parentheses. So anything that's in parentheses, we need to resolve that first. Next, we're going to take care of any exponents or roots, square roots, cube roots, etc. After that, we're going to do multiplication and division left to right. And we'll look at the next slide how multiplication and division have equal priority. So whichever comes first when you read the sentence left to right, that's what you do. Same thing with addition and subtraction. And the famous mnemonic device is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So one of the most confusing things about order of operations is we're often taught it as PEMDAS, right? I just had on the previous slide, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. However, that's a little misleading because it implies that multiplication is going to come before division. And that is not always the case, because multiplication and division have equal priority. So it could just as easily be PEDMAS, right? You notice that by the color coding, I'm trying to signify that multiplication and division are equal. And same thing with addition and subtraction. So whatever comes first in addition and subtraction as we read an expression left to right, that's what we're going to do. So PEMDAS is a little bit misleading because it could just as easily be PEDMAS or PEMDSA or PEDMSA. All of those are just as accurate. So now let's look at a couple examples. Evaluate 37 minus 2 times 5. So evaluate just means find the value of. What does this equal? Well, for, we have um, subtraction here and multiplication. And our order of operations tells us to multiply first and then subtract. So our final answer would be 27, 37 minus 10. Next up, 30 divided by 6 times 5. So the most common error students might make is think, oh, PEMDAS, I got to do multiplication first. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 divided by 30 is 1. No, incorrect. Multiplication and division have equal priority, so we just, we're just we going to do whichever comes first as we read it left to right. So 30 divided by 6, that's first. So we do 30 divided by 6, we get 5. And this says 5 times 7, it should be 5 times 5. And that's 25. My bad. Next up, a little more complicated example. This has all the different operations. First, we're going to do those parentheses. 28 minus 12, that's 16. We rewrite it, removing the parentheses. Next, we're going to do this exponent, 5 squared at the end, which means 5 times 5. That's 25. And now we have division, addition, multiplication. So we're going to do the uh, multiplication division first. Left to right, first the division. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Now the multiplication, 2 times 25 is 50. And then finally we add. For this next one, if you want, you could pause the video right here, copy this down, and try to solve it on your own. I'm just going to quickly go through the steps so you can see the final answer. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, multiplication, subtraction first, because it comes before addition in the expression, then addition. The final answer would be 130. 